But it's not just wine, Dr Chris, because it's also beer. Yeah, yeah, they found similar findings with beer as well. You know, the same sort of units are knocking years off your Five life. Five pints a week cuts years off your life, apparently. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but drinking coffee could keep your heartbeat going strong. Yeah, so, yeah. so I just have a couple of glasses of wine and a cup of coffee. Yeah. Well. Or maybe a cup of coffee in those final two years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've got a gambler. What are you going to do at the end of your I'm life? I'm working you, it all out. You, you really what, are. When we were, trying to what beat state the system. were in when the last two or five years of our life, will we? Mm. You know, I mean, I, I've had two friends die in their 50s, both were heavy drinkers. Yes, of course. Yeah, know. absolutely. Yeah, of course. But, so, so why but... does caffeine, what is it? So why, why does that make such well, a difference? Well, well this is surprising, because often if you get patients coming in, they're complaining of the heart beating fast, you ask them about caffeine, mm. or reduce your intake of coffee, etc. But this group of researchers have found that, that caffeine uh, may actually um, reduce the incidence of irregular heartbeats. There's a condition called atrial fibrillation, yeah. where the heart goes very fast and, uh, and very irregular. Mm -hmm. And patients who were consuming a large amount of coffee seem to get some protection. Um, okay. I, I think probably, looking at what we've discussed today, all things in moderation. moderation isn't that How often do we say that? How we often? keep saying it again. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much.